Okay, now this is crazy. So I was picking up this couple tonight and it was a $16 black to go about four to six miles or something like that. I was right across the street from at a gas station. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna cruise down here, pick them up real quick. And they were like, hey, we just gotta go, we're dog sitting, we gotta go check out these dogs, but we gotta come right back. Is there any way you could just wait on us and we'll come back? And I was like, well, how much did y'all even pay for this ride? Lady said, $38. I said, that's funny, because I'm getting $16 for this. He was like, no. So the dude in the back was like, hey, can you just cancel it and we'll just give you like 70 bucks? I was like, that's fine. So I said, well, since they're getting, they're charging y'all 38 and 38, it's like 76. I'm like, I'll do it for like $60. He was like, oh, that's cool. That's perfect. But I'm like, yeah, otherwise I'll be getting $32 if I took you out there and back. So I'm just like doubling my money and you guys are saving money. He was like, oh, perfect, no problem. So I canceled the ride. Then he was like, is this a 2019? I said, yeah, he says, my dad works at Ford, man. That's crazy. I know these, I said, he's, I know these cars like the back of my hand. It's got the 10 speed transmission. He was like going all off. I was like, yeah, yeah. So he was like, man, I'm always going to the airport all the time, man. I get black a lot. I say, is there any way I can get a card from you or something like that? So I gave him my business card. He was like, man, I love this truck, man. My dad, he's gonna freak out when I tell him I was riding in one of these. He said, I always get black cars all the time. I never get black SUVs because I just use black. So I was like, oh, cool, man, no problem, man. He's like, yeah, I go to the airport like twice a week. So I was like, okay, just hit me up. I said, I live by the airport. So if you were flying in, hit me up. If you need to go out, I come scoop. And he's right like near almost just south of Old Town. I said, I'll just swing up and pick you up or something like that, man, no problem. He was like, oh, perfect, man. I said, I'd rather do it cash so you guys get most of the money. I was like, yeah, because if you do it through the apps, he was paying for it. I said, she paid $38. I was getting $16 out of the 38 because it was only like four or five miles as far as I was going. I had to drive to them, then drive like four miles from there. So I was like, yeah, they was giving me $16, but they were charging them $38. So they were charging them almost $9 a mile, and I was getting about probably 4 to $5 a mile or something like that. Yeah, about 4 or $5 a mile. And they were getting, and they were being charged $9 a mile. So I was like, nah, we're not gonna do that. Especially if I gotta turn around and come back. And she was like, well, I could just add a stop. I was like, no, I don't add a stop. Don't worry about that, don't add a stop. I said, well, I'll, I'll wait for you guys. She's like, oh, cool, cool. We just pay you on like cash or Venmo or something like that. I said, yeah, so I do Venmo. So he venmo me the money. Everything's all good and shit. Had to cancel that. And of course, Lyft got pissed off. And they sent me a cancellation. Oh, poor customer experience. I'm like, whatever. My customers love this shit. It's y'all trying to fucking be salty and trying to pretend that I'm not out here really making this money in the way I am. Don't let these little text messages, emails fuck with you. Stay on your grind. Stay making your money. It ain't about poor customer experience. They want to give you, they want to gaslight you to make you think that these people are upset that you're canceling them. They're happy. Everybody wants to pay us. They're sick of these after. They're sick of getting gouged. They're sick of the bullshit. Drivers not getting paid. They want to pay us. Remember that.